Okay, so you guys know that watching motion graphics just makes me just freaking Yo. Yeah, it, it just makes me freaking lose it. I can't think of anything more fun than just sitting back, taking a hit, and watching some of the dopest stuff coming out from the community. So that's exactly what we're gonna do today. Now, if you guys are new to the channel, hey, why not go ahead and subscribe to us because trust me, you're gonna love this episode. And if you don't, don't subscribe. It's chill, you know? <laughs> All right, anyways, I'm super excited. I know you are too. All right, let's go. What's up everybody, it's your boy Nate. Now you already know what time it is. We're talking about the dopest, the sickest, the absolute best motion design techniques coming out from the community all across the board from Instagram, Reddit, YouTube, Vimeo. I don't even know who still uses Vimeo, but <laughs> anyways, we got the list. Okay, can we actually like just take a second to appreciate how dope this haircut is like, I don't know if you guys have been watching the last videos, but my show is pretty scruffy. Priscilla gave me the dopest cut I've had like ever. So thanks, babe. Anyways, let's go. Okay, so first up on the list, at number 10, we have Yo, okay, so I've been looking at DK Motion on Instagram and his work is just freaking mind blowing. I'm just blown away that his character animation can even do this while being so meta. It, it kind of reminds me of the old animator versus animation stick figure drawings from like way back in the day. But that was Flash and this is After Effects now. So huge, huge props for revamping this meta art style. And it actually looks like he's using a plugin for After Effects that you can find on a scripts called Character Tool. Looks like it does exactly the same functionality from being able to rig up a character to set up these characters nice and easily. Yo, I love this piece too. Make sure you guys give it a like. DK Motion, I love it a lot. I hope to see more. All right, on to the next one. Okay, at number nine on the list, we got one from J Bugsy. I love the name. <laughs> I've been missing out the walk with the mini. Uh, uh, I've been building all the blocks like a me. Uh, uh, Elliot got water dripping out the city. Uh, uh, oh my God, boy, he got his pot. Uh, uh, oh my God. This is a really sick finger tutting animation. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, so yeah, I love this piece a lot. It brings back a whole lot of vibes, a whole lot of great memories. And on top of that, I don't know if you guys can tell, but the person in this video is actually the one who pretty much popularized finger tutting from Step Up 3. At least that's what Jay Bugsy says. Love it a lot, love the finger tutting, and I love the use of motion design and dance. You know, it's such a great combination and hope to see more of your work. All right, on to the next one. At number eight. Yo, okay, so this one is super nerdy. I don't think many people are gonna use this technique, but I wanted to show it to you guys because it kind of showcases a hidden part of After Effects, and that is using After Effects with Excel from Euchre Media. I was updating these NFL and page promo pieces for Fox Sports and potentially you'll have something like that. So you would say like today, 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 and then today, and then you'll see like the schedule for today. Now, if you guys are ever watching sports and you're wondering how are they doing those motion graphics every single day with all these different regions and all these different games, well, using a templater with After Effects and using some expressions and scripting, some powerful things can be done with After Effects such as this. You just press render. It's gonna queue it up. It's gonna render one by one. It's gonna open it up, make all the changes from that CSV file done. Then it's gonna go to the second one, do the same thing. What it says tonight, it made all the changes we needed to. We can click on week two, 
it says tomorrow it did all the changes i've personally had similar work before when i was having to do a whole lot of batch testing and getting online and running things on the websites so actually while i'm on the topic of websites i want to talk to you guys about a really cool web hosting platform and that is hostinger also the sponsor of this episode so hostinger if you guys haven't heard they're a really cool option for hosting your website mainly because they're really cheap and if you don't have any super like high traffic then you're going to be able to use hostinger at a super low cost versus going to someone else that's going to charge you up to ass. That's why we recommend hosting. We've been using them for a little bit now. So far, I gotta say, it's been super fast, super reliable, and just about hands down the best bang for buck I've seen out there. Also, Hostinger was super dope to give us a special discount code because they were fans of the show. So if you guys go ahead and check out Hostinger, and if you also decide, hey, I wanna go ahead and get a web hosting plan with them, make sure you go ahead, type in black mixture in the coupon code, and you're gonna see a super fat discount. All right, enough of the plugs. Let's get back to the video. <laughs> Next at number seven. Yo, okay, so this one is super cool because it shows the process of making a really sick photo animation. So this one comes from Justin AJOK, AJOK. I don't, I actually don't, don't know how to say your name, but it's really cool how you show your process in creating this really nice photo animation with a Photoshop and then also using After Effects to animate it. Really dope work. And if you guys are curious what he's using there, it looks like he's using the Puppet Pin tool, which is super useful for doing rough character animations in After Effects. I've gone away with doing a whole bunch of stuff before with this. Love it a lot, Justin. I hope to see more of your work. All right, on to the next one. Number six on the list. <laughs> So you guys know I got a soft spot in my heart for video games and Mirouette brings us a super dope motion graphics piece called A Tribute to Video Games. Yo, this is just giving me mad nostalgia vibes. So I really love the use of 3D and 2D animation in this, it's just flawless. Also, yo, dope use of RTFX generator for that transition. And I'm noticing there on the side of the Guitar Hero lines, that RTFX generator plasma effect there. Dude, this is looking super sick. Love it a lot, Mirouette. I hope to see more. All right, on to the next one. Okay, so we are halfway there at number five. Yo, okay, so this one is from Jumping. I hope I'm saying your name right. Either way, it's spelled super weird. Discovery used in 20 seconds. I saw this one actually on Reddit. It freaking blew my mind that you can make this because it was rendered entirely in After Effects just using the plugin Element 3D. Now, if you guys don't know what Element 3D is, it's a super cool plugin for After Effects that lets you do all kinds of 3D animation and rendering. And to see just how lifelike and realistic this international space render came out, this blows my mind. Number four on the list, Okay, so this next one is from Jay Rodier, and it is a really dope use of masks and time lapses. Yo, this is so sick. I'm just freaking mind blown how you're getting this to come out, man. Such a simple idea, such a great execution. It looks like he says this was actually inspired by Alex Heiner, who also posted this photo on Reddit, except he made himself a moving version of it. I think it came out really dope. Love it a lot. I hope to see more of your work. All right, on to the next one. Okay, so at number three, yo, if you guys have been following us on Instagram, then you've probably already heard of this next really dope technique, and that is using dope VFX assets like the ones from Action VFX. So a lot of you watched the VFX basics tutorial, and you guys have been asking, Nate, where do we get fire to put in our hand? Well, check out Action VFX because they not only have fire, but they have smoke, explosions, sparks, and a whole lot more to help you guys with your productions. Not only that, but if you guys want to get some assets on the discount we're gonna have a discount code in the description so make sure you guys go ahead and check that out i was freaking mind blown by their library of super dope stuff just, just take a look at this Number 
number two on the list. Yo, okay, so this time we got another one from BRK and Sergio, but this time he comes with the T-Man to bring us this super, super sick Easter basketball animation motion graphics edit. Yo, I just love how sick this came out. Your use of animation and live action is really sick, and the way that you're just playing around with these additional assets is just, yeah, it, it's really dope because I don't know if you guys can notice, but there's actually subtle compositing techniques done here. Yo, and he also did this really sick Sasuke edit. Holy shit. I love how you bring so much energy to all these edits. Love it a lot. Hope to see both of you guys collab more in the future and keep it up. All right, on to the next one. At number one. Being a motion designer in today's modern world is not easy. There's too many plugins to use and not enough time in the day. And here at AE Scripts, we feel you. After all, we created this mess. But what if there is a better way? Introducing AE Scripts Plug Intelligence. Yo, okay, so this next piece made me laugh when I saw it. This was probably one of my favorite April Fool's pieces. And this is by A Scripts, Motion by Nick, Geraldine Garcia, and Gino Alvarez. How does it work? After undergoing a minimally invasive surgery, A Scripts Plug Intelligence implants directly into your temporal lobe, allowing Plug Intelligence AI to merge with your own thoughts, knowing exactly which plugin you want to use every time you click the button. Say goodbye to endless panels. No more annoying updates. Side effects may include headaches, nausea, dizziness, drowsiness, dry mouth, a big plug in your head, lots of appetite, increased sweating, diarrhea, upset stomach, and temporal glitching. Yo, the animation, the character design, and all of this just came together so great. It's, oh my goodness. And on top of that, the voice acting and the voiceover is, is just super clean. Love this work a lot. You guys did a great job. All right, on to the next one. Okay, so that's it for the list. Now, I hope you guys enjoyed it and found some techniques that maybe you can take into a production of your own. As always, let us know down below in the comments or by smashing that like button whether or not you want to see more of this which I think if you tap this long through the video, you, you might want to see some more. Oh, congrats to the giveaway winners. We announced it on Instagram. Hope you guys enjoy spending that $200. And as always, if you guys did not win this time around, just make sure you guys follow us on Instagram because we're going to be posting a whole bunch more giveaways. It's a giveaway year. Also to the new patrons, yo, it's like a blessing to have you guys helping us out. This channel would not be possible if it wasn't thanks to you guys. And I also hope you guys enjoyed that we posted up a new set of files and assets we're going to be posting a lot more coming up anyways thanks for watching thanks for being a part of this community it's such an honor to get to share all this dope work with you guys and get to even see all the dope work that you guys are sending in so holy shit, yo we're almost at 200k subs yeah that's freaking mind-blowing I, I can't even believe it you know before i even went on to make music videos and do all this other stuff i just thought no one would give a shit about after effects at all but you guys have proved me wrong and you guys are making so much dope stuff. It's just really cool. It's such a huge honor to have you all a part of this community and a part of this journey. Anyways, let's keep it going. I hope to catch you all in the next one. Peace. Yo, okay, so if you guys have not taken a look at the studio's progress, this is a little, this is a little quick update. We're doing it again. Check this out. For cell design, this entire freaking yeah this whole shelf thing you see this look look i'm gonna show you real quick so we're gonna talk more about this stuff in the uh in the studio tour that's gonna be coming up we're still working on the studio it's, it's still coming along but just want to keep you all updated anyways thanks for watching you know what it is all right let's go Whoosh.